Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and when I talked to you guys last week, I said that, you know, this market may not owe us much more than a pullback to the middle band. So, with the roll and everything, people always ask, well, what middle band are we talking about? You've got the, you've got the old school... Traditional folks are going to say, well, wait, we're on the September contract. We're not going to get to the middle band until down at 1912 and, and change, wherever it happens to be this morning. Then there's me, who is a trader, and I only I do things that work. Okay, And for the last four or five rolls, what has worked is the middle band on the continuation chart. The middle band on the continuation chart last night was about 1919.10. Right now it's 1919 quarter. Our Globex low from last night, 1919. And we've done a solid five uh, and a quarter handle bounce off of there, which, you know, which I was mentioning to the members last week to watch out for that band. And it gave everybody a very nice look at a potential downside target. So needless to say, this is a very important day for the bears. The bears have got to crack and close below 1919 in order to keep this momentum going. If they do that, then they can head down to that September middle band down at 1912 and try to push down to the red line there, which is the 50-day exponential moving average. That has been tagged five times since the middle of April. It is still important. I don't care what contract we're on. The, and more importantly, the market doesn't care. These lines have been important every roll. So if you're just hanging out on a September contract and you're discounting the continuation contract, you're not seeing the full move of this market. You are not seeing what, what is mattering to the market right now, which is the continuation middle band. That has to be broken. That red line, if it breaks, will be important. And the reason I think it's important is that the continuation chart represents where all the eyeballs are where all the focus is, wherever, where all the volume or lack of volume is on any particular day, going back in time. And the price that ends up on that chart is a reflection of all that interest. So when we hit these levels, they remain important. They remain very important. Um, so what I'm looking for today, if 1919 holds up, you've got a ton of Pivot resistance, standard resistance, as well as the Friday high up in the 1930 to 1932 area. If the bulls can break over that, then what you've got in this chart is a band ride, a pullback to middle band, and a future that wants to trade above the middle band. And that for us is that's by dips mode. So if the bulls get it in gear today and can put in a big day, I think that we can head back up and test the highs. If the bears can crack 1919 and stay below, then I think they can own the week and we can head down as low as 1895 to 1890. So big day today. I'll be very interested to see what the answer to some of these questions are. Okay. Have a fantastic trading day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Come take a trial. We have some trials starting this morning. Come and join them. Uh, if you trade this stuff all the time, I think we can help your trading. Come check us out. I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.